Well, today was just a couple of degrees warmer than it was yesterday, and we have been dealing with a mix of sunshine and clouds today, but we are dealing with some snow showers coming into our area. This is all in association with a low pressure system off to our east, which is bringing some snow showers to the eastern portion of the state. And you can actually see on the radar right now, these snow bands are slowly inching their way over into eastern portions of Hamden and Hampshire County. And then as we zoom in a little bit more, you can see that portions of, uh, say, Palmer and Munson, Holland, they're dealing with a little bit of a snow shower coming through our area. And as we push through the east evening and into the overnight hours, we will be dealing with the, some minor snow showers coming through the area, also some flurries as well. But nothing really too major. We're not going to be expecting any accumulation, just maybe a brief little dusting as well. Looking at your 24, we're going to see uh, temperatures falling down into the 30s as the sun goes down. As you can see, the snow showers off to our east, and there are going to be moving into our area, especially as we push through the overnight tonight. Temperatures will be getting down into the 20s, and we are going to be looking at these flurries and passing snow showers through the overnight, as well as as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. There could be another wave of some snow showers coming through from that system off to our east. We are going to be looking at temperatures falling through the 30s and in rising up as well as we get into the um, upper 30s. Now take a look at your with your 24 showing mainly cloudy skies tomorrow, but you can check out Berkshire County and in the Hilltowns. They could be looking at a little bit more of a blend of sun and clouds. Meanwhile, here in the valley and points east, we are going to be dealing with those cloudy skies as that system continues to pass off to our east offshore. Now we are going to be looking at temperatures topping off around the upper 30s nearing 40 degrees. And then once the sun goes down, temperatures will start to fall through the 30s once again. Temperatures right now in Springfield, we're sitting at 35 degrees. We do have a healthy breeze coming in out of the north at 23 miles per hour. So our wind chill right now is 23 degrees, so definitely feels very cold outside. Temperatures throughout across New England are looking at 34 right now in Worcester, 31 over in Boston, and then a little bit warmer as you head down towards Hartford and New Haven, where it's down to where it's up to 42 degrees over there. We are dealing with a bit of a breeze coming in out of the north. Pretty much all of southern New England is dealing with that. We're seeing breezes coming in anywhere between 10 to 15 to even 23 miles per hour sustained coming in out of the north, all in association with that low pressure system offshore, which is driving in winds coming in from the north and northeast. Now we are looking at wind chills as well with temperatures feeling like they're in the lower 20s and even into the teens, especially as you head over to Berkshire County. Now we are going to be sticking with the breezes, especially as we get towards your day um, overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We'll be looking at these breezes continuing, especially for the eastern part of the state. Take a look at these wind gusts possible over in Boston, almost 30 miles per hour and over on the Cape, a little over 40 miles per hour possible for maximum wind gusts, especially as you head into the overnight tonight and into tomorrow. For Western Mass, we will be looking at breezes gusting up to 20 to 30 miles per hour for your day tomorrow. And then as we get towards your day on Tuesday, winds will swing over into the west and they will be calming down significantly. So it won't be nearly as windy on Tuesday. Top number is your temperature. Bottom number is your wind chill for tomorrow. We'll see temperatures topping off around the upper 30s, but with the wind factored in, you're going to be feeling like you're in the upper 20s for your day tomorrow. So definitely a bundle up kind of day. I'll put the trash can wind meter at about a one and a half to a two with gusts up to 30 miles per hour, sustained at about 10 to 15 over it from the north. Now for tonight, we'll be looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies. A passing snow shower or flurry is definitely not out of the question, and it will be breezy with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures will be down into the middle 20s. Now for tomorrow, a morning flurry is definitely possible as well. We'll be dealing with mostly cloudy skies, and it will be a bit breezy as well with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Temperatures will be in the middle to upper 30s, possibly nearing 40 degrees. Satellite and radar right now, not a lot to look at. We have, uh, here's that low pressure system off to our east, bringing a lot of snow showers over to the eastern portions of the state as well as Rhode Island. And then you can see all that cloud cover stretching off over into our area. Now looking at the future cast, that snow shower activity is going to continue, especially as we get into the overnight tonight. You'll see the, the future cast trying to throw in a couple of snow showers into our area, especially as we get into tomorrow morning. Now beyond that, we do have a little bit of a clearing, especially as we get into Monday night. And then we are watching our next weather system come in for Tuesday, which could possibly bring us a brief little mixed precipitation for later later the, in the day on Tuesday, as well as some showers for Tuesday afternoon and into the evening. And then we are going to be uh, drying out for Tuesday night. Now, this system could bring a little bit of a coating to uh, some areas of western mass, especially eastern portions of Hamden and Hampshire County, two to four inches over in the eastern part of the state. Our next weather maker looks to come in on Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. It does look to briefly start off as a bit of a mix, and then it will change over into rain, especially as we get into the overnight on Thursday and into Friday. It looks like we could linger um, into some mixed precipitation, especially as we get into the hill towns. But in the short term, we are going to be dealing with the breezy conditions and a flurry in the morning on Monday. Tuesday, we have that chance for our brief little mixed precipitation Tuesday night. And then Wednesday turns breezy and mild with highs in the middle 40s. Showers are possible with a little bit of a mix coming in on Thursday into Friday. And then we do look dry for next weekend, and we are watching another wintry system coming in for the following week. But that is more than a week out, so we will continue to watch that.